What is up guys, it is Big Banks. We are back again for another video. Today we are exploring this abandoned house and I like to call it the medieval house. It's not really built in the medieval times, but it has a lot of like medieval things throughout here. What I could gather about the place was it was built around the 1920s. The owner had this idea to just make this place like in the medieval times, like I said, and there's a lot of really cool stuff. There's a like a fountain when you walk in, there's dragons, there's nights there's so many like crazy little things just all throughout this place so we're going to explore this and i'll talk a little bit more about it as we go along if you're new hit that subscribe button and let's go okay guys so we are just going to start off at the front door of this place first walk in you have a fountain it's like this angel holding like a goose or something and these like pillars along the walls, along the ceiling. With some crazy like patterned tile in here. And the whole roof is just falling in. I hope I don't go blind because I just got some of that in my eye. But you're about to see why this place has this medieval feel to it. So first of all, Every door is like curved. And they all used to have some type of like cool design on it. So this is cool. Here with Urban Decayed. So I will leave her stuff in the description. And yeah, as you can tell, this place is really weird. So this is the main staircase. You walk in, got a cool curve to it, and like this wall is just like super weirdly textured. Like I don't even know what that's made out of, but it's like all throughout the like it's on the ceilings, everywhere. And these are like cathedral type ceilings, how they're rounded and everything. But this is one thing I wanted to show you. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a dragon. Now it looks like whoever did own this house left a lot of stuff just piled up in one little area here. Sorry, I'm just stepping on stuff. Now one thing that's really cool, which you'll see uh, here in a little bit throughout the video, is this organ. Now there's a lot that goes into this organ right here. There's a whole room dedicated to it, which I will show you here in just a little bit. But looking through here, as you can tell, there's another dragon right there. Just the details and everything. Now, I wouldn't necessarily call this place a mansion, maybe a McMansion. It is quite large. But yeah, this is, it's full of stuff. Now, I came back here. This is my second time here. I came here back in, I think, December maybe even January, and I lost my footage. So we're back filming it. And yeah, it's just as crazy as I remember. So this is the main hallway that we're in right now. And as you can see, like the ceiling is just like weirdly curved. I wonder what all this stuff was for. Like, what is this for? Why is it sitting here? That's like a chute. Maybe a laundry chute? But laundry wouldn't go down a hole. Well, I don't know. It could be a laundry chute. Hmm. If you guys know that, tell me in the comments. And here we have our first bathroom. Pretty plain, I'd say. Got the red or pink colors. Now here's the room I wanted to show you guys. It's a very tight squeeze to get in here, so. Okay, yeah. So they didn't make the doorway for everybody. But here is this like musical room. This is all connected to the organ? Yeah, I believe so. Wow. It's so like, 
I don't know. You can't. It's definitely made just for this. Like nothing else could go in here. It's so strange. This is odd. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Like, what are these tubes for? They have a drum. Wow. Such a weird little room here. All right, so this is the little closet that we opened up in the hallway. And we got like, I think that's Jumanji. Is it Jumanji? No, it's a vacation. vacation. Hmm, I don't think I've ever seen that. Mm -mm. And this is a hundred shows. It's got some like weird stuff in there. Now, I don't know if this is a bedroom or it pro probably is, more than likely. It might have been like a guest bedroom or something. I'd say so, like a guest bedroom, because there's a bathroom connected to it right here. It's like got blue walls. Looks like something melted in here. It's weird. Well, there was a fire next door, so the heat could have like came over here. And then here you got the cathedral ceilings again. And I just noticed the little details in this light. That's weird. Oh wow, that's like the moons and everything. Yeah, stars and moon. That's cool. I think we still got a couple rooms on this floor and then we go upstairs. All right, so this is the main living room of the house. And this is what I mean by medieval. It's a freaking night. And then there's, I mean, I remember these guys too. Like little, uh, either angels or like goblins. I don't know what these are. That's cool. Got the crazy cool ceilings. And like I said, every single door is like this arched, like arched thing. But again, look at the night. Like this guy went all out making this place medieval. Mm -hmm. Some of these rooms are really bad. Falling apart all in here. This actually looks into this room, which I'll take you in here in just a second, because there is like some details upon each of these little beams up here. And again, just arched, archways. Yeah, so along each of these beams is a different like, different thing here. Got a ram. So we got a lady. And that's like a Zeus looking thing. So I'm wondering, maybe this might have been a dining room, I would say. I have a feeling this was a dining room. It's hard to tell in houses like this. Come in here. It's just hard to tell what a lot of these rooms are. I really don't know what this would be for. It's really small. I don't see a purpose. But then right through these doors, we got a kitchen, which is definitely falling apart, sadly. All right, so I'm gonna go upstairs now, show you guys upstairs, and yeah, let's keep exploring this place because it is actually so, so strange. First thing you see coming up the stairs is this like opening right here. Not sure what, what's go there, but 
That's pretty cool. And you see this nice little curve it's got here. It does get super hot up here though. Bedroom. One thing I love about houses like this, like these are my favorite type of houses with the tiling roofs like this. Those are definitely my favorite. Another the walk in closet. It's a little bit cleaner up here. Let's just look at that. And here we have another bathroom. It's kind of similar to the one downstairs. The bathrooms are kind of small in this house. And we come around and we've got a yellow room. But like, like I said, this place is like a McMansion. It's like quite large, but it's not like, you know, huge. It's got a lot of rooms. Got a little closet here. And then we have the only room with carpet. That's so strange. And yeah, the whole roof is just coming in. So guys, I got one more thing to show you and it's all the way down in the basement. There is still a car here left behind. And down in the basement, it's a little bit weird. Some of the things that are in there, some books and some other just weird objects. So we're gonna go down there and hope you guys are enjoying this video. And if you are, hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on. I'm gonna be posting a lot more starting really, really soon. Making, another, making a big move uh, from Oklahoma to Ohio and yeah, it's gonna be a big deal. So, whew, let's go see uh, what we can see downstairs. All right guys, so we are going down to the basement of this place. Coming up here, I hit this thing and got dust literally everywhere. Almost got all over my head too. Yeah, so I gotta duck down, go past this. Okay, so we're gonna start off in here which is like a kitchen, laundry room type thing. Because I think that thing upstairs sends laundry or something down here. It's like a chute. And then there's like some weird books in here. Mystic places. Yeah, that's just creepy. This is about color. This is like a photography book. Mm -hmm. What the heck? That's cool. The camera. It's got like an old Canon or something on it. They're really photographers too. I thought they had to be to have this. Mm -hmm. I don't even have these books. <laughs> Our <laughs> photography books. That's I cool. really like the crown when I want to leave them on the crown and just, just freak people out. <laughs> Oh, this is like, like, mist, literally mystic places. Like, that's cool. It's like a place I want to see one day. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe this was like a laundry room or something like that. I'm gonna come right through here and into the garage. The one thing I noticed is this crazy freaking steel door. What the That's heck? That's a little creepy. What the heck? That's like gotta be heavy. Yeah, I can't. That's. Why is that there? <laughs> <laughs> That's like industrial. It has some writing here too. It's got like math problems on it. Manufacturing. Richmond, Indiana. Hmm. I mean, so this door was constructed in Richmond, Indiana. Just to come all the way here. Wow. But then, 
We have an old quest, I think, is it four? But it's obviously all beat up. Don't open, dead inside. Just a black mold filled van in here. Ew. <laughs> but down here is kind of like pretty trashy. Oh, there's another steel door there too. Oh, yeah, there is. What's the deal with the steel doors down here? I can actually read it now. Cairo Mac Manufacturing Company. It's a fire door. Wow. It's weird. This is in here. There's actually a little bit more to this place. It's like a room. It is it's like, like a, a crawl space. Oh. It's weird. I was like scared something was gonna pop out <laughs> of me. <laughs> yeah, guys, that's the end of today's video. We just explored this whole place for the second time, and it's so weird. If you guys like know anything that I pointed out wrong, like please let me know in the comments, because this place is just it just gives me strange vibes. So. Anyways, we're going to get out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love you guys so much. Big Banks out.